Hello and welcome to episode 149 of Vokta Gaming. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and we are here with the second in our run of three NS Hoso games. So, allow me to introduce our players. First up, we have our green Terran. He is Startail Hack. And opposing him today, in the blue, is NS Hoso Freaky. So here we go. Yesterday was a really short game, which was a shame because I didn't get enough time to talk about the NS Hoso clan. Uh, I will talk about them in just a moment. First up, allow me to introduce Startail Hack. Uh, now on the Startail team, formerly of Team Xenex, who looked at one point like they were going to die losing all of their top players to other teams, but have since come back and are in fact performing quite well in the current GSTL, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I love the GSTL, by the way. I'm a big fan of winners' league format teams, uh, team leagues rather. Now it's going to be interesting to see what happens today. Are we going to get another rush? Are we going to get something different? To talk more about NS Hosa team and Freaky, Freaky is a player I haven't had much experience of uh, apart from recently again in the GSTL. Freaky playing very, very well in their initial offering against Slayers, uh, and he's looking to be a very top class Zerg. NS Hoso are of course a university team, the only university team in the GSTL. Every single one of their players currently attends, as far as I'm aware, if that's different or if that's changed, please let me know in the comments, uh, but they do attend the NS Hoso University, which makes it interesting for me, like, once they leave the university, will they leave the team? I'm, I'm not really sure how it works, I don't have enough experience with it. Nice gas still here from Freaky. I'm going to allow him to see exactly what's going on in Hack's main base until he gets a Marine or two out. And of course, how many Marines you see does also give you... Oh, nice. Swapping it out like that. Okay, we have a Command Center going down, so it's Barracks, One Rack's Command Center. And we have... Double Extractor now. Oh, well, one Extractor in the main base. Sorry, that Extractor's in, of course, Hack's base. So yep, it's an expand build from Freaky, followed by a gas with pull. So gonna get Zergling speed up fairly shortly. All seems completely normal so far. This Marine's gonna finally take this down. We'll see uh, how well Freaky deals with this. Will he hit the cancel? Nope. Oh, cancels it at the last second. Oh, is he gonna go take the other gas? No, he doesn't make it, unlucky. So that ends that, and in the main base we're going to get another command center, ah oh, hack, doing the Thorzane 3 command center style, also uh, favoured by players like Bomber, and occasionally Marine King in fact. Anyway, just going to drop some knowledge on you, you can find me also over at www.easystarcraft.com, they're a really good site and they've got a ton of good casters on there. Uh, so if you're having trouble with any kind of strategies, or you want some new strategies to play, check out EasyStarcraft.com. Also, every single Friday, you can watch me over at YouTube.com forward slash Vapor Game, where I run a series called Starcraft 2 Best of the Best, which is just short, roughly 10 minute episodes about, as you guessed it, the very best Starcraft 2 pros. So back to the game, Freaky going to move forward with these four links. Now, he's not droning particularly hard at the moment. The interest Oh no, so going up to five drones. So, yep, seems like a normal e economic build from Freaky. And of course, we have the super economic build of Hack getting that third command center, getting the factory out. Wow. So, it'd be interesting to see how well this holds up for Hack. Now, his problem is he has this bunker at the front, but he is not going to have very many units out at the beginning of this game. So should Freaky try and attack, he's going to be a bit stuffed. Now, we have a Bailing Nest on the way here. Bailing Nest going up for Freaky. Could be defensively. I mean, he sees the bunker, so he knows there's Marines or Marauders. And there always is, because it's a bloody uh, Terran versus Zerg. There's always Marines and Marauders, so a Bailing Nest is always good. Oh, but that is 14, 18, 20, 24 Zerglings coming out now. Okay, that is not a defensive build whatsoever. We have got a kill move coming from Freaky. Hack, 
He has the factory. He has Siege Tech coming out. He has Siege Tech coming out. But it's going to be too late. Let's take a look at the units tab. We have six Marines. There's just so many Zerglings. And they're all going to be Bailings very, very shortly. Oh, my. This is going to be bad. Let's watch these Bailings come in. They're going to hit the front base of Freaky. Oh, there's only one bunker and two marines. One bailing goes down, but oh, the bunker dies. All of these marines are going to die. Oh, <laughs> so many SCVs killed. Oh, 11 workers killed at this point. If he gets into the main base, it's game over. This command center is going to force uh, to lift. Now, he is repairing these supply depots. So he can't get in. He needs to get out Marines. He needs to get a siege tank done. But the bailings are coming in. Bye bye Supply Depot. Bye bye Start Out Hack. Well, I was hoping for a longer game because the NS Hosa team are known for their longer, more interesting game. But there we go. Two days in a row. Two rushes. One failed, one successful. But the NS Hosa team are absolutely destroying it. Well. That's us for today. I will be back tomorrow with NS Hoso Jack G, former GSL champion. So hopefully he's got something a bit more exciting for us. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again tomorrow.